The most popular monster the movies have ever depicted is Dracula. There have been more pictures about Dracula than any other monster. In the last, uh, in the latest version now, Dracula is played as a romantic figure, not as a ghoul, by Frank Langella. His Dracula on Broadway was a big hit and also a heartthrob. Langella is just as appealing now on the big screen. In the movie, at least one woman wants to have her blood sucked by Dracula as he comes creeping down the wall outside her bedroom. terrific scene. The story, however, is fairly traditional. There is a Professor Van Helsing, played by Laurence Olivier, and he immediately suspects that Frank Langella is indeed a vampire. I think maybe the cape and his reaction to garlic <laughs> give him away. You are a most uh, unusual creature, Count Dracula. Yes. How is the fair patient? Her diagnosis presents difficulties. I feared it might, my friend. Would you care to see what I have prescribed for her? Anything that you prescribe for Miss Lucy has the greatest interest for her. A prescription is the most unusual one. <laughs> has not lived even a single lifetime. You flatter me, Count. But not wise enough to return to Holland at once, now that you have learned what you have learned. I prefer to remain. In the past 500 years, Professor, those who have crossed my path have all died, and some not pleasantly. Come here. That's just the kind of pet some of you might be looking for, something unusual for the kids when they're bad. <laughs> I think we see one of the weaknesses of the film there, and that is Sir Lawrence Olivier. He's a tired old Professor von Helsing. He comes across as not too much of a threat to Dracula, and thus I think the tension is really lost in the picture, which is a shame because Frank Langella is very good, managing to be romantic and threatening and world-weary at the same time. I like the movie because of Frank Langella as Dracula, but sad to say, 
pretty much only because of him. I like Frank Langella just as much as you did. I like the movie a lot more than you did. I think it did a wonderful idea, a wonderful job of creating the mood and atmosphere of that time. I mean, the direction, the art direction, the music. You really felt what it was like to be that kind of a creature. The scene, for example, that we showed just a moment ago, mm -hmm. one of the best single clips I think we've ever had on the program. It shows him creeping down the side of the castle wall, That's the mist, nice. the clouds behind him. That's wonderfully evocative. Yeah, evocative and not shocking. I mean, I think that we ought to stress that this picture is not out like a lot of the Dracula pictures of the 70s with Christopher Lee, just to surprise you when he's going to jump somebody in the neck. This picture has a moody quality to it, which I can't deny is well done. I mean, I, I did like the film. I think what they're going for here, and the director, by the way, was John Badham, who made Saturday Night Fever, which is a totally different kind of movie. But in both pictures, he's really in control of the look and feeling. And here, what he was going for, I think, was the style of Dracula rather than the scares and jumping out from behind gravestones and so the forth. The inside quality of Dracula, what it would be like to be 500 years old. Yeah. yeah, it's not so, yeah, that's right. Instead of making you frightened all the time, that moment, for example, when his head appears upside down in the window, yeah. that's not scary, but it's creepy. Yeah, threatening. Yeah. yeah, so Dracula didn't scare me. Here's another picture that didn't scare me. It's okay, Dracula didn't, it's not okay. Yeses to Frank Langella's fine performance as a romantic Dracula.